Hi guys, welcome. I hope you all are doing really well. So as you can see by the title of today's video, it's going to be a little bit of a different one for me. Um, and if you are wondering why I have randomly started to collect Hannah Montana dolls and you haven't already seen my um, Instagram post, basically, if you know me, if you have watched me for a while, you'll know I am a massive Miley Cyrus fan. So anything that Miley has been in, performed on, you know, I'm watching it, I'm loving it, and obviously I love Hannah Montana for that reason. Plus, Hannah Montana is quite nostalgic to me, as I am sure it is for a lot of you as well. You know, I grew up watching that program, I loved it, it was so incredible, still is, and um, I just can't believe how amazing Miley was in that at such a young age. But anyway, we are going off topic. I could sit here and talk about Miley all day. Um, I mean, we are going to talk about her now, but I'm just going to get into the actual main bulk of the video for you. Um, basically, yes. Yeah, so I went into a charity shop the other week and I found the Hannah Montana 2008 Builder Bear. Now, when I got her, she was only £4, by the way. And look how cute her little foot is with the Hannah Montana look logo on I love. Um, basically, when I got her, I was searching up some Hannah Montana Build-A-Bear outfits for her because I want to buy her an outfit that um, obviously is Hannah Montana themed. And I came across um, Hannah Montana dolls, which I obviously knew existed, but I had never really looked into it, which is odd because I'm a doll collector and like I said, I love Miley, so I don't know why I didn't ever look into to the Hannah Montana dolls as much as I have recently. But anyway, I ended up looking at some and I liked them. I mainly like the Mattel versions. I'm not sure who makes the other versions, but I do love the Mattel dolls. Um, and basically I was like, should I get some? Um, I was a bit undecided and then I thought, no, I'm gonna get them because, you know, you can't get any other Miley Cyrus dolls unless they are custom. And I just thought it would be cute to add into my collection. So basically I bought a few. This isn't a big haul because I haven't managed to find too many just yet. But the ones I have found, I am very, very happy with. And I just want to share them with you. So if that sounds like something you're gonna be interested in seeing, then please stick around and I'm gonna dive in right about now. First up is two dolls. I bought them as a bundle. Um, basically, they do come as a pair. This is the Hannah Montana Miley and Hannah two pack. Now, I love these dolls so much. They cost me £13.85, which was a pretty good price. Um, but yeah, so I was happy to get these as my first two because I get a Miley and a Hannah. You know, you can't win. No, you can't lose. What was I trying to say? Um, it's a win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win. You can't win. Anyway, guys, um, basically, yeah, you get a Hannah and a Miley. And I think, you know, let's not lie. The faces are not perfect, but they are pretty, pretty close in kind of like a cartoony way to looking like Miley. And they look enough like her that I can, you know, like them, appreciate them, want them in my collection. So let me show you Hannah first. Oh, well, I suppose I'll just show you them both. So this is Hannah. She is beautiful. She does have, which side is it? She has a break, like a chip in her neck, which I am going to fix with super glue because the part is still inside of her neck. So I'm just gonna glue it back together. But she came with her outfit. She is missing her shoes and some of her accessories, the same for Miley. But I didn't really mind too much. This is Miley. The face is pretty much the same on both of them. The makeup is slightly different, but not too much. 
What I appreciate the most about these is that they have teeth kind of painted in. You can see the definition of each tooth, which is really different because most dolls just have like a bit of white paint to show their teeth but these actually have like lines to, you know, separate the teeth, which I really like. Um, and yeah, so they are in really nice condition. Their hair quality feels lovely. They feel like really nice, sturdy dolls. Obviously the clothing is a little bit cheaply made, but we are dealing with Mattel, so I'm not going to, you know, go on about that. But um, yeah, I really, really love these two dolls and um, I'm very happy to add them into my collection. Then the next one I got is Lily Trescott, who is Miley's best friend and I guess Hannah's best friend. Um, I'm not going to go into so much detail about Hannah Montana because I'm assuming 99.9% .9 of you have seen that show at some point in your life. And if you haven't, girl, please go on Disney Plus and watch it because you're missing out. And if you didn't get to see it as a kid, that is so sad, but, but, you know, I'm sure everyone has their favorite shows from being a kid. One of mine just is Hannah Montana. I guess everyone is gonna like different things. But anyway, so this is Lily Trescott, who is absolutely beautiful. Again, there is a slight resemblance, but we're not talking about, you know, identical. But I don't expect it really from, you know, just like a Playline doll. If we were dealing with collector dolls, I would have expected more. But because these are just your run-of-the-mill Playline dolls, I really don't expect the world. She looks pretty good to me. She came in her top, well, her hoodie and her pants, again, were missing shoes. But I've got something to sort that out, which I will show you at the end of the video. But here is a close-up look at Lily. She is in nice condition. Her hair does need a bit of a wash. It's just a bit dry. It's not in bad condition at all. So I'm not worried about it in that sense. I just want to put it back into her original. She does have ponytails in her original hairstyle, but she also has a piece of hair twisted down at the front, which I want to put back in, obviously. But um, yeah, I got her for £13 off of eBay. All of these dolls are off eBay, by the way, guys. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to have a Lily to go with my Miley. Now I need a Lola to go with my Hannah. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is Lily Trescott. The next Hannah Montana doll I have to show you was actually from my boyfriend. He bought her for me without me knowing, which was really adorable. This is the Hannah Montana two-in-one style. Now, this is the one that you can have as Hannah or you can change her to be Miley by literally. So let me show you her first as Hannah. This is her as Hannah. This one does look a little bit stranger than the others, but it's because of her hair gimmick. Um, but yeah, she still has a cute face and I love her outfit. These are not her original shoes, by the way. I am not too sure who those shoes belong to, but they go with the outfit, so we're keeping it because I don't have any like Barbie-sized spare shoes in my doll collection to give her. But yeah, basically, if you twist it's not working now. If you twist her hair like this, oh my God, she looks awful this way. But um, we're gonna show you for the purpose of the video. If you twist it, it gives you the Miley look and you get a spare outfit to put her in as Miley. But the execution on the Miley side, it was lacking, it's lacking. Um, As you can see, that hairline, um, I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know how they thought that looked cute, but um, they thought, yeah, sell her, put her out. We're gonna sell her anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna use the Miley side of the hair because that's just, um, 
it's not good basically um and obviously i got her in her hannah outfit so it makes sense to keep her keep her keep her keep her keep her as hannah so that's what i'm doing but yeah she's really cute she used to sing she doesn't sing anymore she's very old um i'm not too sure when this doll came out but it was a good few years ago so yeah she's lovely and i'm happy to have her in my collection as well and a massive thank you to my boyfriend for getting her for me it was a lovely surprise the last Hannah Montana doll I got up to now is the Hannah Montana, the movie, country girl, Miley Stewart. Now, this queen is adorable. I love her. She is one of my favorite Hannah Montana dolls I have up to now. Um, she is so, so sweet. She is like new. She is in excellent condition she came with her brush as well which has the little hannah montana logo on um as you can kind of see there sorry about the lighting guys um this doll was i'm just checking my notes this doll was 14 pounds 45 p which was pretty good, especially, like I say, for the condition she's in. I am very, very happy with her. I love this outfit. Obviously, this is from when in the movie she's kind of, you know, feeding the chickens and all that and, you know, being a proper, true country queen. Um, you know, going back to her roots and I just love her to pieces. Um, I am really happy to have this one especially. So um, yeah, that is my Hannah Montana doll haul. I nearly forgot to include these guys basically because um, three of them came without their shoes. To fix that issue, I went to Smith's and got this Barbie shoe accessory pack, which has five pairs of shoes in, which is quite good. And I paid £4.49 for this, but I had no choice because I don't own any Barbie sized shoes in my collection because I don't, you know, collect Barbie or collect anything of a similar size. So I kind of had to go and get these and it was more cost effective than buying Barbie shoes off of eBay because people are charging unimaginable prices for a pair of tiny Barbie shoes. Like I don't know what's going on in the world. It's scary, but um, I thought let's go and just get a Barbie pack of shoes from Smith's. Um, I know the colors are garish, they are neon, they are in your face and they don't really go with the dolls but I am going to paint them. So let me focus the camera for you and I will show you which shoes I'm using for which doll. So these trainers, sneakers, I'm gonna use for Miley, just obviously going to paint them. Then these green sneakers, um, I'm gonna use on um, Lily. And then I got these boots in the pack as well, which will work really nicely for Hannah. And then I got a purple and pink pair of high heels, which they look cute, but they don't really fit the vibe of Hannah Montana or Miley. So they're just gonna stay in there for um, any time that I need them in the future, if I do need them. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do to give them some shoes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was quick and sweet, quick and sweet, short and sweet short and sweet <laughs> but i just really wanted to share this new beginning of collecting hannah montana slash miley stewart dolls basically um i just really wanted you guys to come on this journey with me i wanted to document it on my channel along with all of my other doll collecting stuff so yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big thumbs up leave me a lovely comment down below don't forget to click that notification bell as well to be notified every time I upload a brand new video and of course subscribe to see more content like me like me I can't speak today guys I'm having a rough day more content like this 
yeah, that, that's more like it. Um, so yeah, anyway, I love you all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.